uh, this is Nathan Larson. He's, um, uh, he was an admin for the website. Yeah. I did not sleep for weeks wow. because of the stuff that I saw. Yeah. No. I mean, you literally see babies getting You gonna tell police? I never gave everyone all of the files that I had because I was scared of the legal repercussions. Project Veritas reached out and, and that gave me the platform to be able to to give these files to people that I trust that I know are going to do them justice. I realized the impact that Project Veritas has and, uh, and I knew that something would be done about this. The first database for that the, the first and second user was a, a guy named Nathan Larson. Larson was a white supremacist who advocated for pedophilia. He ran a website which encouraged child and sharing of images of those acts. My next steps with this data is to work with Project Veritas one by one, go through all of these email accounts, all these usernames, all these profile photos, and associate them with human beings. Hi. So after I reported all the information to the proper authorities, to the news agencies, um, and nothing happened. I saw it six months later that Nathan Larson gets arrested at a layover in an airport um, and he and kidnapped a 12 year old child. And from that point on, I had a burning desire to, to do something about this.